Hey guys, I am back with from my nine month hiatus and today we are going to be creating a signature um, for forums or anything like that um, in GIMP. Anyways, this is how it's going to end up like. I, I made mine using a Modern Warfare 2 renders and style and uh, yeah, this is how mine ended up as. Anyways, I'm going to close that. So we're gonna make a new file, 599 by 249. It's about this big. And then you're gonna need three renders and a font, um, all in the description. Of course, you could use it. Um, you can change the style to however, however you like it, and then use completely completely different renders. Anyways, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go to File, Open as Layers, and go to the folder with your renders. My first render is gonna be the grunge text. I mean, grunge texture, not text. And it um, looks like this. Uh, I'm actually gonna change this a little bit because I want it first. Wait, cancel. First, I want it on, on its side. So I'm gonna turn it on the 90 it's degree. It's 12 o'clock. Sorry about that. But I'm gonna turn it on a 90 degree angle. Then I wanna scale it down a lot. First I'll let's see. One thousand. Is that too small? Let me see. That's about good. Something like something like that. And uh that's good. Then we're going to duplicate it and then set the mode to overlay so it looks more dramatic. Then we are going to uh, open our first, uh, our second render, open as layers, and that is this guy, a guy um, from Modern Warfare. I'm not really sure what his name is. I'm not sure if he has a name. And that's him. So we're just going to scale him up a little bit, a little bit about that basically just move it and you basically want to cover up the whole canvas by duplicating him and then replacing him uh, so that he covers up the whole thing and then you're also going to put Duplicate a final time and put another one like right there. No, actually right here. Yeah, that, that, that looks better. Then you're gonna hide these two and merge visible layers. Merge. There. So we have that. And we're just going to filter blur, Gaussian blur at about 42 yeah and then set the mode to overlay you might not be able to tell a difference but if you like hide it and bring it back you might want you might want to duplicate it and then like lower the opacity a little bit like that and you're just going to merge that down oops merge this down and merge it's easier just to do merge visible I wasn't thinking about that there so we have that then we're going to make a new layer and we are going to open as layers the same render for a second time there it is that's him so I want to have a new layer here we're just going to duplicate him and I forgot to do this before I duplicated it but just move the layer to image size so the layer is the whole image, not just that little box right here. Otherwise, the well, what we're about to do will look horrible. So the bottom layer, we are going to right-click, alpha to selection, and fill it in with black. And I forgot to do this, but we're going to do select, grow, and grow by one, and then fill in with black. It's easier to just use this tool because the filling will take a long time. Then we're going to do filter, blur, Gaussian blur again. This time at a blur of 5. 
Then we're gonna duplicate the guy a second time, put it on the bottom, and dupl and blur that by here. I'm gonna have to see it because I don't remember what I blurred it by. I think it was uh, somewhere in the twenties. Yeah, no, you know what? I'll make it thirty one. Let's see. Okay, by thirty one, that's that's about good. Then what you can just, if you want, you can just mer merge it down, merge it, all. merge it all down. Cause I, I, the reason I merge them all down is because in case I want to move that, move it at one time, or um, it's just easier access. Of course, that means that you'll have to undo a lot if you want to edit something. But I don't think I'm gonna look. I say I just want to move it over a little bit. It'll be easier than moving over every single layer. If you know what I'm saying. Or let's keep it where it was. Anyways, now we are going to create our text. A text tool. Um, this is a font that I downloaded. It's native to Windows computer Windows computers. So I had to download it, but this is actually Bank Gothic, the font that they use for um uh, the, the Call of Duty title logos, and I'm just going to write my name, Joey. Duplicate it. Three, you're gonna, so you're going to have three of them. The bottom one, you're going to keep it, keep it at, keep it as is. No, you know, actually the bottom one, you're going to color that in a green color. I'm using... 7FD226. So basically, it's, it's going to be this color. I'm going to filter. And also, I'm going to move this to my art image size as well. I just have to move that because it was annoying. <laughs> filter. Reshow Gaussian Blur. You can just do that. It's far easier. I'm going to blur it at also 31. And then this one, I'm going to right click, alpha to selection, select shrink by one. And then we're just going to fill that in with the white. I'm just going to use a paintbrush to make it easier. There we go. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. I can measure it down. Then we have the gun. And as layers, uh, the last render. There it is. And if you could tell, there is a white background behind it. This is easy to um, to solve. We're just gonna use the fuzzy select, select the white, hold shift, and then select all the smaller parts that have white in there. This might be a little hard for there for small resolution computers there and then you're going to delete it whoops i forgot to make right i forgot to make it a uh, alpha channel you're going to right click and select add alpha channel and then you're going to delete it then as you can see there's still a small little white border that doesn't look good so we're going to right click alpha to selection again select shrink Select invert, delete that, so it looks nice. Then you are going to scale it down to fit, uh, like right there. Uh, actually, let's make it like that. Is that good enough or is that, that too small? We'll just keep it the way it is. Um, then you duplicate that, right click. After the selection, fill it with black completely. Um, and we're going to blur that. I also 31. Yeah. That may not look good, but it will soon. It will in a second. Then we're going to duplicate the gun mode overlay. If, if that's too much, we can just lower it a little bit. Lower the opacity. Then you're gonna merge the whole gun thing down. So it's 
like this. Just basically just lower the opacity. And as you can see, it just still doesn't look nice because I forgot to what if I gotta do something. On the background layer, just go to filters, distorts, video, three by three additive. And you can see everything much more clear. You know what? I'm gonna move this up a little bit. About 80 is good. Then we're gonna make a new layer. Fill this one in with black. Select, all select, shrink by one. Let's delete that. And so now there's a black border. Then you're done. Let's see this. Whoop, sorry. Let's open the other one. I think it matters. Probably messed up. Probably messed up along the way, but yeah, basically. So thank you guys for watching. This is Gimp Joey, and I'll see you later.